Okey, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera everyone. Okey. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> okay, we are learning English. Okay, so I will try my best to speak a lot of English. <laughs> Alah, lagi pun semua orang faham kan? <laughs> semua Melayu kan? Ah, okay, kita campur-campur lah. Okay. So, so, um, uh, untuk SPM, okay, kita nak tengok format dia dulu. Format. Okay, format dia ringkas je tau. Okay. Format dia ringkas sangat. Okay. So, firstly kita ada paper one. Paper one waktu tu pagi-pagi pukul, pukul 8 ke pukul berapa saya tak ingat. Okay. Uh, paper one dia 40 markah. Dia akan convert menjadi 25% uh, secara keseluruhan lah. Okay. Then masa dia adalah 1 jam 30 minit saja, An hour 30 minutes. And 30 minutes. Okay. So, tajuk paper 1 ni adalah Reading and Use of English. So, part 1. Okay, you will have Reading Short Text. Okay, ni short text lah. Maksudnya text tu ringkas je. Okay. So, you have 8 questions and 8 marks. You will get 8 marks if you answer all of them correct lah. Okay. And then we have part 2. Close text. 10 questions, 10 marks. Okay. Part 3, reading longer text. Uh, meaning macam they will give you um, some article or story or some essay. Okay. You have to read the long text and then you have to answer 8 questions. Uh, okay. Okay. So part 4, gap text. Gap text. We have six questions. We will look at the example of the questions for this part. And then we have the last part of the paper one is uh, information transfer. Eight questions, eight marks. Okay. So this is for paper one. Okay. Okay. So for paper two. Okay. The writing paper. Okay. You have only 1 hour and 30 minutes to complete 3 essays. 3 types of essays. Ha. So, rancang masa elok-elok. Ha. Okay. Only 1 hour and 30 minutes here. Yeah? Not 2 hours or 2 hours and a half. Okay. No. 1 hour and 30 minutes only. Okay, so you will get 60 marks if your essay is perfect and then it will be converted to 25% for your SPM English. Okay, and then uh, in paper 2, we have part 1, short message. Okay, you will reply to an email or message. Okay, usually email lah. Email, selalu um, keluar email. Okay. So, and then part two, we have guided writing. Okay, you have to include the points. Nanti kita akan tengok what, what points. Okay, points apa ni? Okay, guided writing. Okay, and then part three, we have extended writing. Okay, we, you have three questions, but you have to choose one only. Okay, choose one. Okay, the questions may be, uh, the three questions are about, um, Maybe they ask you to write a story. Maybe question two, they uh, they ask you to write an article. And maybe the, uh, the third question, they will ask you uh, to write a uh, review. Review uh, like much like, restaurant or maybe um, restaurant, movie, book. Okay, review. Okay. Okay. So that is for our format. Now, let's take a look at the um, example, okay? We look at uh, MRSM trial, trial MRSM. Okay, this is paper one. Okay, kertas satu, bahasa Inggris, reading and use of English. Okay, so this is part one. Okay, as you can see here, okay? Uh, so, part one, we have eight questions. The questions are just macam ABC je. 
Okay, uh, tanda A, B, C. Okay, you have to read this short text. Okay, read the short text. And then choose the correct answer. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's try a question from part one. Okay. So, let's try question um, question four. Okay. K-pop boy band Kim Chi will hold a virtual concert later this month to meet fans across the world. The concert titled Insecure will take place at 6 p.m. on January 23rd. Okay. It will be the second virtual event by the 11-member group following a live-streamed fan meeting held in August last year. The, the self-producing band plans to perform over 20 songs from the albums. The concert will be broadcast with not only one, but four cameras to allow viewers to watch it from four different angles at the same time. Okay, so let's take a look at the question. Okay, what the question asks. Which of the following is true? True about Kim Chi. Okay, Kim Chi is a band, uh, I suppose, supposedly it is a K-pop boy band. Okay, uh, plans to produce 20 songs for their album. Okay, is this true? No, right, because they said the self-producing band plans to perform over 20 songs from their albums. Not to produce 20 songs, but to perform, perform here. They say perform, okay? Perform and produce is different, okay? Perform tu macam buat persembahan and produce tu dia nak menghasilkan lagu tu. Okay? So, uh, option A, uh, incorrect lah. Okay? Okay, option B. It uses single camera shot during the concert. Okay? As you can see in this short text, okay, dia kata, not only one, but four cameras to allow viewers to watch it from four different angles at the same time. So, option B is totally wrong. Okay, sebab dia kata ada four cameras. Okay, so what about option C? It has successfully held an online fan meeting. Yes, online fan meeting. August last year, okay, live stream. Live stream is uh, online lah, kan? Mana ada live stream uh, secara bersemuka, tak ada kan? Okay, so the answer is C, okay? Uh, so you have to read this short text here and then answer the question, okay? Uh, highlight the important uh important things okay not using highlighter but just using your pencil okay because uh, SPM kita tak boleh guna highlighter okay saya tak galakkan so just use your pencil okay use your pencil okay that is for part one okay part one let's take a look at part two part two okay so, part two, we have, um, this is called close text. Close text means, macam you have to isi tempat kosong, okay? Uh, dekat sini ada tempat kosong, tempat kosong. Okay, that is close text, okay? Close text, dia punya ejaan C-L-O-Z-E-T-E-X-T. -E -E close text. Okay, so um, for uh, question yang ni, okay, you will have four options lah for each for each blank spaces. Okay, you you will have option A, B, C, 
or D. Okay? So, let's try um, maybe two of them. Okay? Let's try question 9 and question 10. Okay. So, the internet. Okay, wait. The internet gives children and adults adults can't access to an almost endless supply of information and opportunity for interaction. Ours can buy as they play games, watch videos, or chat on social media platforms. Okay, for uh, question 9, ours can what buy as they play games. Okay, is it A, pass by, is it B, get by, C, come by, or D, run by? Okay, okay, actually the answer is pass by lah kan? Okay, because ours can pass by. Okay, yang tu lebih sesuai. Betul ke B? Question 9. Uh, nine. Eh, 9 up. Uh, Ijab. B ke A? Oh, A. Pass by. Ish. Saya ingatkan pass to B. Okay. So, the answer is A. Okay. Pass by. Okay. Not surprisingly. Okay. Continue. Not surprisingly, their internet usage has risen. Risen what? In many places during the coronavirus pandemic. Okay. Has risen what? In many places. Entirely, sharply, actively, directly. Okay. Has risen. Has risen what? Actively, directly, entirely or sharply. Sharply, of course, salah. Sebab, like, there is, tak ada kaitan pun. Okay. So, risen actively. Okay. Has risen actively, directly, no, of course not. So entirely, ke actively. Uh, the internet usage has risen actively in many places. The internet usage is has risen entirely in many places. I think the answer is B. I think A, eh, no. I think it's C actively. Let's take a look at the answer. Betul ke? Eh, the answer is B. Wait, question what? Question 10. Okay, so the answer is B. B. Why B has risen sharply in many places. In many places. So, it is... B, oh, risen sharply, like maybe sharply, risen sharply like this. <laughs> Macam dia naik secara, dia meningkat secara mendadak. Uh, maybe like that lah, what they mean. Okay, uh, so that is like <laughs> example question. Okay, uh, saya pun salah. Okay, question 10 tu. Okay, the answer is to be risen sharply. Okay, so uh, this is part 2 lah. Close text. Okay. And, and then part 3, we have long text. Okay. So part 3, reading longer text. Okay, we have 8 questions. Okay. Uh, dia akan bagi kita macam essay yang panjang ataupun maybe article about something or maybe a story. Okay. Ha, tengok panjang kan dia punya ni. So, dalam question uh, part 3 ni, okay, part 3, let's take a look at question 19. Okay. There are two types of people tau. Okay, ada dua types of people. Uh, ada orang tu, dia macam, dia akan read through the whole passage first. Okay, and then baru dia answer. Okay, the they answer the questions lah. They answer question. They answer question. Okay. Tapi, there are um, one, another type of people, okay, yang 
Kalau macam saya lah, saya, okay. Saya akan pergi ke question dulu, okay. Pergi ke question dulu like, in paragraph one, what made the writer frustrated, okay. Uh, and then barulah saya tengok uh, dia punya passage ni, okay. Maybe kalau korang guna yang, kalau korang tengok soalan dulu baru tengok jawapan, eh korang so, tengok soalan dulu baru tengok paragraph ni, dia akan menjimatkan masa. Okay, saving time. Tapi if nak baca dulu baru uh, jawab soalan pun boleh. Okay, ikut. Ikut korang. Haa. Uh. Okay, so um okay, they ah uh, dekat dalam part ni dia ada eight questions, so kita kena answer those questions based on this ah uh, passage here lah passage ah uh, based on this um long text yeah okay longer text okay. So, um, let's try answer uh, question 21. Okay, question 21. In paragraph 3, okay, what did the writer realize after her friends left the city? Realize. Okay. Let's look at the, um, what paragraph 3, okay. This is paragraph 1, paragraph 2, paragraph I grew up in a neighborhood where there were many children. I was never lonely. However, the when the mining industry collapsed, a lot of families had to move to other cities in search of jobs. I lost many friends that year. I cried when my best friend moved. My mother told me to count my blessings. My father still had his job and we did not have to go hungry. My mother became my friend for many lonely evenings. In fact, looking back, that was the time that I felt closest to her. My friend's departure was a blessing in disguise. Disguise, indeed. Okay, so let's took, let, took, take a look at the question. Okay, her family always had enough food. Okay, they didn't mention food, so wrong. Okay, her friends were not important to her. No, also wrong. Her bond with her mother grew stronger. Okay, maybe correct. Maybe correct. Okay, her father could still earn money for the family. Okay, they didn't mention this in paragraph 3. So, the answer is maybe C. Okay, let's take a look at the answer scheme. Question 21. Ah, uh, The answer is C. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, ini kalau kaedah saya lah, saya akan, I will take a look at the questions first and then I will go to the passage. Uh, I will read the passage here. Okay. Uh, tu cara saya lah, if you guys want to read the passage first and then answer the question, uh, pun boleh. Okay. It is up to you. Okay. So, this is for part four. Eh, part 4 ke part 3? Part 3. Okay, part 3. Reading longer text. Okay. Let's look at part 4. Part 4, what is it? Uh, part 4 is gapped text. Okay, gapped text. Gap text ni, dia sama macam close text. Cuma, tadi kan kalau close text, kita isi perkataan. We... We insert uh, words. Tapi dekat dalam uh, part 4 ni, we insert uh, ayat. Okay? We insert sentences. Okay? Tengok ni. Each gap. 
Okay, there are two extra sentences which you do not need to use. Okay, you are going to read an article about Vivi Yusuf. Six sentences have been removed from the article. Choose from the sentences A to H, the one which fits each gap, 27 to 32. Yang ni, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6 ni, okay. Uh, okay. So, there are six questions. Okay. So, we have uh, option, option A until option H. Okay. Uh, so, let's try uh, satu. Okay, kita try satu. Okay, yang 27 punya. Okay. 27. She knew that she wanted to to take A levels but there was a problem she took issue with the huge 9 month gap in between SPM and A levels because she hated the thought of doing nothing during the gap she nego negotiated with and convinced her high school in KL and her college in the UK to let her do both simultaneously. Okay. So, question 27. Dia ada kaitan dengan pelajaran Vivi Yusuf. Okay. Her education. Okay. It was a huge risk but one that she was willing to take. They inform Vivi Yusuf uh, the business can be set up immediately. Okay, yang ni tak ada kaitan. Even with Fashion Valley, okay, ni pun tak ada kaitan. They saw the opportunity of, ni pun tak ada kaitan. The company told them that they will have the, okay, ni pun tak ada. Ni pun tak ada. They tweak their business model several times to make it work. Tak ada kaitan. In fact, she was a straight A student despite her interest in entrepreneurship. Okay. Now, there are two uh, possibilities. Maybe A, maybe H. Okay, let's look back. Okay. Vivi recalled. But no one could scold me because I was a good student. Okay, uh, so the answer is maybe H. Okay, maybe the answer is H. Okay, in fact, she was a straight A student. Let's take a look at the answer. Okay, 27 H. Okay, uh, inilah cara korang nak jawab tau nanti. Macam, you guna pencil. Okay, guna pencil, tandakan, okay, untuk contohlah, ni soalan 27. Okay, 27, uh, yang ni korang tick, yang ni pangkah, tak ada kaitan, tak ada kaitan, uh, okay, macam tu. And then, untuk question 28, ah uh, korang padam balik semua, padam semua yang korang dah pangkah, apa semua tu, okay. Uh, and then, tick lagi sekali, maybe 28, ah uh, ni tak ada kaitan, tak ada, okay, ni, ni ada kaitan, tak ada, ah uh, macam tu, okay. Yang kita dah gunakan, yang kita dah gunakan, yang macam H ni kan dah guna. Yang ni potong. Okay, maksudnya kita dah guna. Okay. Hmm. So, tinggal sikit je lah option kita kan. Ha. Ni pun tak ada kaitan. Okay, maybe. Ha. And then, korang tengok balik. Maybe jawapan dia ni. Maybe jawapan dia ni. Okay. So, that is for uh, for part 4. Okay. Uh, what it, What was it for? For gap text. Okay. So, let's take a look at part 5. Part 5, questions 33 to 40. We interviewed six teenagers about what urban games means to them. Read the text below and answer the questions that follow. Okay. Part 5 is... Information transfer. Information transfer means you need to write words. Okay. Not um, macam A, B, C, D tadi kan. Tadi kan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Uh, kan. Sekarang ni kita kena uh, fill in uh, apa tu macam 
um, words macam words macam contohnya perkataan tu kalau perkataan tu games ah ha, jawapan dia games contohnya ah ha. and then jaga huruf besar huruf kecil jaga ada s ke ada ed ke ah ha. jaga semua tu okey tiru sebiji sebiji ha, sama macam dalam uh, dalam uh, ni lah yang yang apa ni interview interview ni okay so let's uh, try answer uh, some questions here okay we will try and answer uh, question thirty three and question thirty seven okay so question thirty three I was not keen on the games initially. Okay, I was not keen ni maksudnya saya tak biasa. Saya tak biasa dengan game tu. Okay, tu maksudnya. Having an opportunity to play it everywhere. Okay, in a small street. Okay. So, ini adalah uh, dia uh, apa tu? Dia dah terbiasa. Okay. My father bought me World Urban Games in Budapest, Hungary. At first, I didn't really know Okay, yang ni pun dia ad, ada. Eh, sekejap. Ni kita tunggu dulu. Hold. I trained at Malaysia First Trampoline Park. Okay, uh, ni urban game. Urban games korang tahu ke apa? Urban games ni macam permainan yang um, and macam macam roller blading, uh, trampoline ni, macam tu lah. Okay, urban games. Maksudnya, physical games lah. Maksudnya, benda yang kita main, bukannya main game. Okay, main game yang online games yang e-sport, sebab-sebabnya tu. Tapi urban games ni macam roller blading, um, trampoline, okay. Uh, itu adalah urban games. Okay. So, ni playing basketball. Okay. Okay, ni kan dia kata initially. Initially maksudnya pada mulanya. Pada mulanya saya tak biasa dengan urban games. Okay, siapa yang pada mulanya dia tak biasa dengan urban games. Okay. So, kalau kita tengok ni. At first, I didn't really know what urban games were and was not really interested in them because they seemed complicated. Uh, so, jawapannya adalah Idlan. Idlan pada mulanya dia tak biasa dengan urban games. Okay. Initially. Initially pada mulanya. Okay. So, paragraph berapa? Okay. Kita just isi huruf eh. Kalau dekat sini huruf lah. Okay. Kalau macam ni, paragraph B lah kan. Ha, so, letak huruf B. Paragraph B. Okay, betul ke jawapan kita? Okay, betul. Ha, dia soalan 33 until 35, dia akan, uh, korang akan isi huruf. Okay, word. Eh, word. Letter, alphabet. Okay, alphabet. Alphabet. Okay. And then question 37 until 40, korang akan isi words. Uh, words. Okay. Macam tu. Okay. So, eh. uh, let's take a look at question 37. Okay. As a result of long training hours, most participants of urban games make what moves look. Easy. Okay. Apa moves dalam ni? Dia mesti ada perkataan moves. Okay. Make what moves look easy. Okay. Kita highlight yang tu. And then kita tengok ada tak? Uh, pay more attention to surrounding. I never use earphone. Okay. Stay safe. Witnessing trampoline become press improve my flips and handstands. My idol is okay. 
two years ago, Laser Run competition, Laser Run City Tour. All of us were in, required to put the proper gear. Despite losing the battle, we gained experience how to and got to know others who enjoy the same activity. As long as I remember, the joy was running up. The joy of running up and down the court makes me feel like playing it again and again. Now I have my own three, three, three times three. Okay, competition. Okay, kalau dekat sini, apa jawapan kita? Make what moves look easy. Okay? Dekat dalam passage tu, dia tulis apa tadi? Siapa perasan? Sekejap, ada orang angkat tangan untuk bercakap ke? Tak ada eh. Okay, never mind. So, um, what is the answer? Complicated. Okay. Ada ke perkataan complicated dekat sini? Ah, ni dia. Tengok. They seemed complicated. Okay, ni. Complicated. Later when I got to know the games, I fell in love. Then I'm looking forward for my complicated. Okay, perkataan. Perkataan yang korang ambil mestilah daripada passage tu, okay? No more than one word, okay, from the passage for each answer. Maksudnya kita kena ambil perkataan-perkataan yang wujud dalam passage tu sahaja, okay? Kalau perkataan tu ada ED, ada S, ah ambil sekali perkataan tu, okay? Ah ED, S, okay, macam tu. Okay. Yang ni untuk paper 1. So, we have 5 parts lah macam saya cakap tadi. Okay. Now, let's move on. Okay. Yang ni kita dah habis paper 1. Dah habis. Okay. Now, let's take a look at paper 2. Okay. Ada 3 parts. Okay. So, this is MRSM trial. Okay. Trial MRSM. Okay. So, Part 1 is short communicative message. Okay. Selalunya uh, uh, soalan ni dia keluar, dia suruh korang reply email. Okay. In about 80 words. Okay. In about 80 words. Okay. So, you received an email from a classmate. Hamza. Wait. Okay, so it's about and skip. Okay. So, hi, Teacher's Day is almost there. Okay. He is talking about Teacher's Day. I'm planning to buy a present for our teacher class. A present. Okay, what should I buy? And how much do I spend on it? Should I spend on it? Where can I buy it from? I'll be waiting for your reply. Okay. Now write an email to your classmate in about 80 words. Write your answer below. Okay. Firstly, bila korang dapat je um, the uh, apa ni? question ni, okay, korang uh, terus tengok. Okay, terus tengok um, dia punya Soalan, apa kawan korang minta? Okay. Apa yang dia minta? How, what should I buy? Apa yang saya patut beli? Okay. What should he buy? Okay. And then dia tanya, how much should I spend on it? Okay. How much? And then the third question is, where can I buy it from? Where? Okay. So, there are three questions that you have to answer. Okay, bukannya dapat soalan ni, uh, Hello, uh, I, I hope you are in pink of health. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Teach, that teacher is very great. She is very kind. Uh, jangan. Okay. Answer his question. 
answer your classmates question okay he ask you um what should he buy okay how much should he spend okay where uh can he buy that present from okay answer those three question okay so when maksud saya bila korang dapat je uh, kertas ni nanti okay terus uh, gariskan uh, gariskan kata kunci dia what should i buy how much should i spend on it where can i buy it from okay so uh, seperti okay kita try jawab okay contohnya okay yang ni kan, tu siapa? Kita kenalah tulis alamat email tau. Alamat email. Contohnya, Hamza at gmail dot uh, gmail dot com. Okay, Yahoo ke apa-apa ke. Okay, ah, letak je. Okay, subject. Uh, teachers Day Present. Tengok, kalau kita nak tahu tulis subjek apa, eh tak tahulah nak tulis subjek apa. Tengok ayat sebelum yang dia duk tanya-tanya question kan, ni dia tanya question kan. What should I buy kan, ni ayat dia yang dia tanya tu. Okay, ayat sebelum dia tanya tu adalah topik kita. A present for our class teacher. Okay, itu adalah subjek kita. Ha, senang. Dia dah bagi kita dah pun. Okay. A present for our class teacher tulis. A present uh, for our class teacher. Okay. So, wait. Wait a minute. Okay. Sekejap. Ada huruf yang kena besar. Okay, a present for our class teacher. Okay. Oh, tu pun kena besar. Okay. Kalau tak besar pun tak apa kot rasanya. Tapi, subjek mestilah diambil daripada sini. Okay, mesti ada kaitan lah. Kalau korang nak... A present apa lagi selain daripada present? A gift for our class teacher ah pun boleh. Okay. Ha, asalkan, tapi kalau korang nak senang, ha, ikut je cara saya. A present for our class teacher. Ha, dah jumpa dah. Okay. Okay. So, korang nak tulis apa? Ha, contohnya, hello. Hello Hamza, maybe. ah ha, Hamza kan nak lihat. Ha, Hamza. Okay. Dalam ni, okay, sebabkan kita ada 80 words only kan, kan. Kalau korang nak tanya tentang how are you, uh, I hope you are fine, okay. Ah, uh, Yang tu, satu sentence je. Saya tak galakkan tulis banyak-banyak. Sebab pemeriksa akan tengok korang jawab soalan dia ke tak. What should I buy? Okay, how much should I spend on it? Where can I buy? Ah, So, contohlah korang nak tanya how are you? Ah, How are you je? Okay, and maybe korang nak tambah sikit pun ah, I hope you are fine. Okay, ah, sebab dia akan makan tau sebab ada 80 words ni. Korang kan nak cerita panjang-panjang lagi kan? Ah, So, Jangan tulis panjang-panjang. I hope you are fine. I hope you being of health. Ah, Memang boleh tulis tapi jangan panjang sangat. Kita nak jimat ni. Sebab dia kata in about 80 words. In about 80 words means maksudnya daripada 75 sampailah maybe 90 macam tu. Okay, jangan lebih-lebih banyak sangat. Okay, in about 80 words. Okay. Untuk uh, berapa kalau uh, korang tanya berapa perenggan kan berapa perenggan um, kalau uh, korang rasa boleh buat satu perenggan je uh, buat satu perenggan buat satu perenggan okay? tapi maybe sometimes ada cikgu yang suruh buat 
dua perenggan Okay Dua perenggan kan Contohnya ha, Tulislah dua perenggan ha, Perenggan pertama Dan perenggan kedua Lepas tu ha, Sincerely Berapa Apa Okay Ataupun just Sebab ni email kan Bukannya surat pun kan Ha, tulis bye je Bye ha, Macam tu Okay So um, Ini Okay Dia depends on Your teacher lah Okay Tanya balik teacher korang Teacher ah uh, Teacher lebih suggest uh, Saya buat dua perenggan ke Satu perenggan uh, Okay Sebab your teachers know Korang punya uh, Kemampuan Okay So Dia akan suggest lah Dekat korang Buat apa Buat apa Okay So, itu adalah cara kita menjawab email. Okay, ingat. Apa yang kita kena buat kalau kita dapat email. Okay. Untuk email. Okay, kita tulis sini. Uh, apa tadi? Part 1. Paper 2. Okay. Email. Okay, apa first thing yang kita kena buat tadi? Kita kena cari soalan. Find the find the questions. Find the questions. Okay, usually ada three questions lah. Usually ada three questions yang dia tanya dalam uh, email tu. Okay. And then second, okay, kita kena buat apa? Okay. Uh, find the title. Okay, ataupun the subject. Subject senang je kita nak cari kan. Okay. Yang ketiga, uh, jangan tulis panjang-panjang sangat yang untuk uh, Hi, I hope you are fine tu, okay? Maksudnya, uh, apa eh nak tulis kat sini? Um, answer directly. Answer the questions. Directly Okay Answer the questions directly Janganlah korang duk cerita Oh our class teacher is very kind uh, She she deserves more No, jangan cerita Answer the question Okay uh, And then give examples Okay, give examples Macam dia tanya tam, Nama tempat Uh, tem mana saya patut pergi uh, Bagilah dua tempat Dua suggestions K Kuala Lumpur City Center Or maybe uh, Apa lagi IKEA uh, Beli benda uh, Hadiah untuk cikgu dia Okay So ini adalah untuk email Okay Find the questions Find the subject Answer the questions directly And give examples Based on the questions lah. Okay. So, this is for part 1. Email. Okay, let's look at part 2. Uh, part 2 is... Uh, apa tadi? Guided writing. Guided writing maksudnya kita kena include the points. Okay, dekat dalam question part 2 ni, dia akan ada ni tau. In your essay, tengok ni. Sekejap, kita guna warna lain lah. Hijau. Ni pun hijau juga. Okay. Okay, in your essay, you should write about uh, the activity you would take up. Reasons uh, for your uh, choice. And then what, where you would do this activity, where. 
you would do this activity. Okay. So, ha, yang ni sama je macam email tadi. Maksudnya ada point-point dia kan. Tapi untuk email, kita kena cari sendiri question dia. Okay. Tapi yang ni dia dah bagi kita dalam point. Okay. Then, your answer should be, okay, write your answer in about, ah uh, dalam 125 hingga 150 patah perkataan. 125 until 150 words, okay, in an appropriate style, okay. Write your essay using all, using all the notes and giving reason for your point of view. Ah, dia yang suruh kita tulis sem, uh, semua notes, notes yang dia bagi ni, okay. Ah, okay. Dia dah bagi kita siap-siap dah. Ha, kenapa kita nak buang kan? Hmm. So dekat question ni dia cakap tentang Your class has been discussing uh, how sports can promote healthy lifestyle. Your teacher has asked you to write an essay about a sport activity that you would like to try. Okay. Firstly, kita buat macam brainstorming dulu guna pencil. Ha, apa aktiviti? Contohnya swimming. Okay, swimming kan sport. Okay. And then reasons for your choice. Reasons kenapa swimming? Hmm, maybe because it is uh, fun. Ataupun keep our heart healthy. Improve our uh, our health, okay. Uh, where do you, would you do this activity? Uh, contohnya, dekat pantai, at the beach. Kalau tak nak beach, uh, pool. Okay, indoor pool, outdoor pool. Okay, uh, kita boleh bagi banyak uh, example. Okay. So, tengok ni, ruang jawapan dia banyak ni je. Okay. So, maksudnya, nanti, dekat uh, exam nanti, korang tulis macam pendahuluan yang ringkas sahaja. Maksudnya, jap. Okay. Uh, yang ni sample question lain, jap. Kita tengok sample answer. Okay, tengok. Ini adalah contoh jawapan lain uh, untuk essay yang lain. Okay. So, uh, tengok. Yang perenggan pertama, okay, dia sama macam BM punya rumusan. Kalau bukan sama lah maksudnya. Dia punya ringkas dia sama macam BM punya rumusan sebab uh, ni tengok. Appreciation in a relationship is important. Uh, and well, they mean to, uh, as for me, giving gifts to someone, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, so, ini adalah pendahuluan yang ringkas, ok uh, just a simple start, ok tulis pendahuluan yang ringkas, contohnya sport is a sport, ok sports can apa, can keep us healthy uh, contohnya, ok lepas tu tulis lah, uh, there are a lot uh, there are many types of sports, okay? There are many types of sports. There are many types of sports. And then, tulis lah. Uh, but, uh, tulis. But, I am interested To do swimming, ah, contohnya, ah, swimming, okay. So and then untuk ah paragraf yang kedua, ah kita, um apa tu? Kita masukkan point pertama dan point, eh point pertama kita dah tu, kita dah sebut dekat dalam pendahuluan kita, okay. Point pertama ni biasanya ringkas dia. Okay, swimming. Ah, eh, semua tutup. Okay, 
So, sorry tadi dia tertutup kejap. So, untuk uh, yang ni, sekejap. Okay, untuk apa tadi saya nak cakap? Dah, dah lupa, dah tiba-tiba lupa. Okay, untuk yang ni, okay. Paragraph 1, okay, dah sebut tentang swimming. Oh, and then uh, pemeriksa korang, oh, swimming, okay. Swimming, uh, dia dah answer satu, satu note dia. Okay, and then paragraph kedua, okay, bagi reasons. Reasons. Okay, ah uh, paragraph kedua, reason, bla bla bla, kenapa, it is fine, okay. Uh, boleh melakukan dengan kawan-kawan, uh, macam tu, okay. So, paragraph two, reasons, okay. Paragraph three, tulis tentang uh, where do you, where would you do this activity, Ah, uh, Di mana, lepas tu cerita pengalaman, ah uh, last week I swim at uh, Port Dickson Beach, ah uh, apa-apa, okay. Ah, uh, itu contoh. Okay, and then, ah uh, akhir sekali, pengganti akhir, ah uh, buat kesimpulan ringkas. Okay, ah uh, kesimpulan apa, okay. Ringkas je. Kalau korang tengok yang ni, example ni, tengok, semua uh, dia punya, Paragraf dia semua ringkas-ringkas je. Jangan buat panjang-panjang macam BM tau. Saya tahu korang ada banyak idea. Okay, tapi tak boleh nanti terlebih-lebih. Sebab kita nak target 150 words. Maksudnya yang paling banyak lah kan. Korang boleh buat 155, 159. Okay, jangan sampai 160. Jangan. Okay, jangan lebih sangat. Okay. Okay. Uh. So, buat uh, ringkas-ringkas tapi make sure cukup 155-159. Okay? Kalau korang nak gabung dua paragraf ni pun uh, boleh. Uh, tapi janganlah buat satu paragraf je. Jangan semua ni satu paragraf. Jangan. Sebab dia nak essay. Essay kan dia ada banyak paragraf. Kan? Uh. Uh, so, ni tiga hingga empat paragraf. Okay. Ataupun korang nak buat dua, um, dua macam sikit sangat. Tiga hingga empat lah. Okay. Untuk part two. Okay. Yang ni guided writing. Okay. So let's take a look at part three. Okay. Part three, dia ada three questions. Okay. Questions ni, saya rasa banyak negeri. Okay. Ni MRSM tau. Ah, uh, MRSM. Dia mesti ada artikel. Okey, sekejap. Kita guna warna lain lah. Part, part 2 tadi dah guna hijau. Sekarang ni kita guna warna. Um, warna apa eh? Warna purple. <laughs> okey, and then highlighter warna ni. Okey. So, part 3 ni. Okey. Part 3 ni dia mesti ada artikel. Tengok ni. Artikel. Review. Ah uh, Dengan story. Tengok ni, story. Article review story. Article review story. Article review story. Ah, uh, Okay, tapi saya rasa ramai orang yang akan pilih story. Okay, sebab <laughs> dia lupa macam mana nak tulis artikel. Macam mana nak tulis uh, review. Kan? <laughs> so, dia tulislah story. Okay. Jom kita revise balik. Um, apa tu format format uh, untuk artikel ok sekejap mana file tu saya tak buka eh saya cari balik eh artikel artikel mana artikel artikel ok Ish, tapi tak boleh nak present Macam mana nak present eh? Sekejap. Hmm. Saya present entire screen ke apa ni? Sekejap ya. Saya nak men... Macam mana nak present? Sekejap, sekejap. Extended writing. Okay. Okay, yang ni lah. Yang ni je yang boleh present. Okay, extended writing. Okay. Hmm, tengok ni. Do not write too long. Okay. Ha, jangan tulis panjang sangat. Okay. 
Tapi target kita 250. Janganlah tulis 200. Okey, sikit sangat. Tak banyak isi. Okey. Ha, tengok artikel. Okey, artikel mesti ada suitable title. The author's name. Author's name maybe your name. Okey, kalau nak tipu pun boleh. Okey, dia takkan tengok. Eh, nama budak ni nama <laughs> apa eh. Ha, tak ada. Sebab kita mana ada tulis nama dekat dalam tu. Okey. Lagi satu, kalau dia tahu pun nama korang, dia takkan tolak markah. Okey. So, yang ni adalah sample answer for an article. Okey. Ha, by Iman Troye. Tiba. Okey. Ha, teenagers versus crime. By Iman Troye. Okey. Uh, and then, kita mesti ada background of the topic. Okay. Uh, contohnya, juvenile crime is a serious issue in our country. The recent statistic shows that there, there were 1,285 cases involving school children in 2019. Juvenile crime means offenses committed by young people below specific age. Ha, macam tu. Itu adalah background kita. Ha, macam macam kita nak tulis artikel dalam surat khabar. Ha, macam tu lah artikel. Okay. Thesis statement. Okay. Summarize the main point in the essay. Okay. Contohnya. What could these teenagers possibly commit? What causes these teenagers to be involved in crime activities and how could we help them? Ha, itu adalah contoh kita punya cara nak tulis. Okay, ni perenggan pertama baru. Okay, perenggan pertama. Okay, background dengan statement apa-apa. Macam ada persoalan-persoalan. Okay. Uh, <coughs> macam kalau korang ada tiga poin kan Contohnya What could this teenager possibly commit uh, Ni poin pertama korang cerita Ni poin pertama korang Okay uh, Dekat paragraph one eh, The second paragraph Okay And then um, What causes these teenagers to be involved in crime activities And how could we help them uh, So ada tiga questions kat sini So, korang ceritalah tiga benda yang korang dah buat persoalan tadi tu kan. Ha. So, yang ni contoh lain. Oh, banyak betul contoh kau. Okay. Ni artikel. Okay. Ni review. Okay. Sekarang ni kalau kita tengok dekat sini. Ha, tengok. Ada tiga question. Ha, dekat sini pun ada tau question dia. Dia macam still ada guide untuk korang, ha, untuk korang tulis artikel. What are the part-time jobs suitable for teenagers? Okay, what are the benefits? How can you ensure part-time job does not affect your studies? Ah, uh, Tengok, ada tiga. So, uh, buatlah macam tadi. Kalau korang nak salin balik tiga-tiga ni, boleh. Tapi, edit lah sikit. Okay, uh, edit lah sikit. Okay. So, ingat, paragraph one. Okay, paragraph mana paragraph one tadi? Ha, ni dia. Paragraph 1, kita include semua yang kita nak cakap nanti. Okay. All of the things that we want to elaborate. All of the points that we want to elaborate. Okay. So, and then in par ada paragraph 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, ada tiga paragraph untuk isi. Okay, maksudnya ni paragraph 1. Okay, ni pendahuluan. Ni paragraph Ah, uh, isi ni pun isi dan ni pun isi ok and then ni penutup ok uh, buat macam ni uh, paragraph 1 cerita uh, pendahuluan dia ok paragraph 2 cerita isi pertama paragraph 3 eh uh, cerita isi kedua paragraph 4 isi uh, isi ketiga and then the last paragraph penutup in conclusion ah uh, macam tu ok untuk artikel, janganlah uh, kalau dia buat macam ni, jangan cerita macam story tau. Uh, kalau story lain, artikel lain tau. Uh, artikel ni mesti dia macam artikel dalam berita tu. Okay? Inside newspapers. Okay. So, okay. Itu untuk question artikel. 
Kalau question review Okay, jom kita tengok review pula Mana review, review, review Okay, ni kot Ah, ni dia Ah, Content of essay Mesti ada introduction Body, group, paragraph And then conclusion Okay, sama je Tengok ni Mana ya? Ah, ni. Ni introduction dia, paragraph uh, 2, paragraph 3, paragraph 4 and then conclusion dia. All in all, the experience of staying in well hotel is incredible. Okay? Dia, kalau review ni, dia tak, tak ada apa-apa tajuk pun. Ha. So, janganlah risau ya. Ha, boleh. Uh, saya rasa ramai orang akan pilih uh, yang uh, review ni. Dengan yang apa tadi? Dengan story. Okay. Sebab review dengan story senang. Okay. So uh, firstly kita kena identify apa yang question tu bagi. Lepas tu uh, well hotel. Bagilah apa-apa nama hotel kau yang cipta sendiri pun tak apa. Uh, four star, kinta parade. Okay. Hmm, why I like it ha, Tulis secara ringkas Conteng-conteng dekat ha, kertas tu Guna pencil Okay Why I like it ha, The room is excellent Recommendation yes Sebab suitable for family Price is affordable Okay hmm, Itu uh, review Review ni ha, Untuk contoh soalan daripada MRSM Dia nak review tentang Tentang apa Delicious meal Okay, send us your food review. Okay, what, say what you like and dislike about the meal. Okay, uh. dia nak yang like dengan dislike. Okay, contohnya macam pizza. Okay, contohlah pizza kan. Pizza is so delicious and scrumptious because they have uh, a lot of uh, maybe uh, sausages or something cheesy ke uh, cerita And then apa yang korang dislike tentang pizza Contohnya I dislike the pineapple that they put on pizza uh, Contohnya korang tak suka pi, uh, apa? pineapple kan dekat pizza tu kan uh, So cakap lah uh, cerita lah pineapple They shouldn't put pineapple on pizza uh, contohnya Okay So would you encourage your friends to try the meal? Why? Okay Maybe because easy to order ke kan sekarang ni dah ada um, pizza kan banyak delivery kan. Uh, maybe um, suitable for party or maybe suitable for um, bouquet or something like that. Okay. So itu soalan review. Okay. Kalau soalan story, uh, story ni senang. Okay. Saya rasa saya tak payah. Explain pun, korang tahu, oh, saya boleh je tulis story, okay? A star is born, okay? Your teacher has asked you to participate in a story writing contest. The title of your story is, A star is born. Dalam story kamu mesti ada a description of the person, his or her struggles before becoming successful. Okay, uh, maybe you cerita tentang, um, boleh cerita tentang maybe your family members, maybe ada yang dah berjaya sekarang, or maybe tak nak cerita family members, boleh cerita tentang artis korang macam, contohnya, uh, Billie Eilish has struggled uh, due, um, um, when she starts her, her career uh, as uh, singer uh, contohnya Billie Eilish ke uh, macam I, idol-idol korang uh, macam ada pelakon ke actress ke actors ok uh, itu adalah contoh-contoh yang korang boleh tulis dekat dalam uh, story ok ok so uh, itu je uh, yang ada dekat dalam SPM kertas 1, kertas 2 kita. So, I hope my tips uh, will be helpful for you guys to um, to answer your SPM paper nanti. Saya pun SPM juga. So, jomlah kita doakan sama-sama dapat A+. Okay. Uh, and 
InsyaAllah kita bertemu lagi Okay Di lain hari eh, Tiba bahasa Melayu Okay So um, before we end our session uh, today uh, Do you guys have any questions? Okay Kalau korang ada question Korang boleh uh, ask to speak Okay Ask to speak Ada ada butang ask to speak tu Okay Boleh uh, angkat tangan maybe Uh, ada cikgu-cikgu yang nak tambah-tambah ke Or ada pelajar-pelajar yang Macam ada benda nak tambah uh, Pun boleh Okay Boleh je And then maybe Kalau korang ada question uh, Boleh tanya Ada tak? Boleh tekan yang butang uh, raise, raise hand ke apa tak namanya Ask to speak kot Nama butang tu Okay Wait, okay, okay, Amira, okay, allow to speak, okay, Amira. Do you have any questions or something that you want to say? No, that do. Okay, okay. Yeah, lah, takut takut. Sorry, tak <laughs> Mute button speaker tu on mute. Sorry, sorry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The question is about part one. Yes. The most simplest part, right? Ah, uh, yes. I write my answer more than 80 words. Will I be penalized? Mm, I'm not sure, but it, we only have an hour and 30 minutes. Okay, so sejam 30 minit ni takkanlah kita nak habiskan masa dekat short message je. Uh, that's why they ask you to write 80 words in about 80 words. So kalau lebih tu kan, katakanlah korang terlebih kan. Lebih tu lebih sikit je boleh. Maksudnya sampai 90, 100 tapi untuk penalize tu saya tak pasti sebab yang ni kan format pertama kan. Tak banyak cikgu yang tahu dia penalize ke apa ke. Okay? Mm-hmm. Tapi Alright. tapi saya suggest jangan tulis panjang-panjang kat sini lah. Nanti habis bahasa banyak. Okay? Sebab kita ada part okay. lain. Alright. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. So, uh, Tila Shni Ganesan ada apa-apa nak uh, cakap? Yes. Tilashni, Shni. Do you have anything to uh, ask or something to say about this about aspect? Okay. Kalau ah, Ya yeah, Ifa uh, Kalau yang paper one One Kalau yang paper kalau one, one tu kan Ya yeah. uh, Yang part tu Kalau part tu tu macam ni Kita nak kuasai Oh part yang close text tu Okay. Ah, yang tu. Untuk part tu, cara nak kuasai dia, kita kena um, banyak baca, um, bukan banyak baca, maksudnya dia berkaitan dengan grammar tau. Okay, penggunaan perkataan. Maksudnya, kadang-kadang dia bagi uh, macam jap. Okay. So, ah uh, ni kan part tu ni. So, dia bagi tempat kosong. Then, dia suruh kita pilih yang mana yang paling sesuai. Okay. Sama ada perkataan tu, dia macam sama tapi dia jap. Okay. Maksudnya, kita kena banyak macam sepatutnya lah kan. Kalau korang dah form 5 kan. 
Macam ada orang tu dia banyak dapat vocab daripada game. Ada orang tu dapat vocab daripada cerita-cerita yang dia tengok. Or ada orang yang dapat vocab daripada buku-buku yang dia baca. So, bila kita dah biasa membaca, dah biasa tengok cerita ke apa. So, kita tahu macam mana orang-orang English ni dia susun ayat dia. Okay. Ha, so, saya rasa benda tu dia macam... Tak payah risau sangat sebab uh, dia akan suruh kita pilih perkataan yang paling sesuai je. Okay. Macam cuba korang baca banyak kali. Macam contohnya korang dah pilih A kan. Yang soalan sembilan ni dah pilih A. Uh, baca banyak kali. Uh, betul tak? Betul tak? Uh, sampai confident macam okay memang A. Okay. Uh, pilih A. Uh. And then try lah perkataan lain baca. Oh, macam tak sesuai je. Oh, salah kot. Uh, macam sesuai, tak sesuai salah. Okay. Uh, buat macam tu. Okay tapi janganlah satu question tu. Ambil masa yang sangat lama. Okay. Okay saya rasa itu je cara. Okay. Maksudnya korang try baca uh, jawapan korang. Okay. So uh, Ardi ni Farzana ada soalan. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Uh, Nak tanya boleh share tak dokumen ni dekat group nanti? Ah yang... uh, yes. Okay. Yang semua ni eh saya share. Uh, yang okay. Kan? Okay yes saya akan share. Thank you. Okay welcome. Iha eh, lah ada lagi satu. <laughs> Before we end. Oh my god. Ah ni. Ya Allah, kenapalah saya boleh lupa? Ah, ni. <laughs> okay. So, ada lagi satu tips yang last. Tips tips yang terakhir. Okay. Ah, kita mestilah gunakan cohesive devices untuk um, untuk essay kita lah. Okay, macam to show addition of ideas. In addition, furthermore, besides, okay. Guna ke pelbagai uh, cohesive devices ni. Okay. Low to show contrast, although not withstanding, however, nevertheless, uh, to show result, to show result, therefore, consequently, accordingly, hence, to show purpose, uh, in order that, um, kalau to show comparison, similarly, uh, guna cohesive devices ni tau. Okay, gunakan cohesive devices ni. Okay, itu yang pertama. Yang kedua, uh, if you have idioms, okay, kalau tak ada, uh, ambillah ni nanti saya share. Okay, useful idioms. Okay, kill two birds in one stone. Okay, to be chicken hearted, not brave. Uh, born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Maksudnya, have rich parents. Okay, be child's play. Okay, maksudnya, very easy. Uh. Ataupun a piece of cake pun boleh juga kan. Itu pun idiom juga. It is easy like a piece of cake. Ah uh, Boleh je. Okay. So uh, saya rasa uh, inilah dia. And then kita, korang boleh juga masukkan proverb. Proverb ni macam. Selain the, kalau proverb macam ada kata-kata hikmah macam. Uh, easier said than done. Two heads better than one. Empty vessels make the most noise. Blood is thicker than water. Okay. Uh, ada banyak uh, proverbs yang korang boleh masukkan lah. Okay. So itu adalah untuk tips essay selain daripada dia punya format-format. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay yang lain ni ada soalan ke? Ke tengah tidur ni semua ni? Tidur ni. Kan? Tidur. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, um, betul ni tak ada soalan. Kalau tak ada, uh, saya end dekat sini. Setuju semua? Tiba-tiba kan? Setuju. Okay. <laughs> okay. Betul ni. Uh, yang lain? Okay. Macam tak ada je yang angkat tangan. Okay. So, nanti recording ni pun saya akan letak dekat dalam telegram dan nota-nota ni semua pun saya letak dekat dalam telegram. Okay. 
So I think that's all from me and I hope uh, everything will be fine and we will get insyaAllah kita akan dapat A plus okay, untuk English dan juga subjek-subjek lain. Okay, see you guys later. Bye. Terima kasih semua.